All right, now I'm working on the plaster in this room here. Um, the plaster was coming off in some spots, so I had to take out that big chunk right here. And that's all of it on the floor. Some of it's quite thick, and that's like an inch and a half, some areas. So I'm gonna either have to use some mortar or some structure light to fill this in, because it's pretty thick. A lot of it, like you could fit your fingers back there. It was a gap. So it wasn't even touching in some spots. So whatever was loose, I went and pulled that down because I don't want it to fall down later. See, like up here, it's pretty solid. It's not moving or anything. So that's, that's okay there. It's okay over here. If I can't pull it off, it's good. Even here, it's pretty. As long as it's, it's solid, you can't pull it out, we're good. So I'm going to have to put some bonding and adhesive all over this, some glue, and uh, try to get this patch done first. But the bricks look pretty good. There's a couple hairline cracks in it, but it's not bad for 100 and almost 160 years old, 155 years old. You see some of the lime motor coming out of this joint here, and that's pretty good on this side. So. That's where I'm at, that's what I'm working on. I gotta um, put some screws in this lath and plaster. You can see this is kinda loose here in some of them. So I'm gonna work on that now. All right, got some concrete bonding adhesive. That's what I use by Quickrete. On a brush, brush it onto anything the plaster is gonna hit. Cause this old brick is dusty. I did vacuum it out and brushed it out, but can't get all that dust out. So that's why we're using this PVA. I'll let that tack up for a second. And then I'll go mix me some, I'm gonna use Structolite on this because that's what I have on hand. Probably would use mortar if I had some, but I'll just use some Structolite. That, that's pretty good stuff too. Use that in hospitals and stuff. All right, I'm gonna go mix some up and get to filling this uh, hole. All right, there's a half bucket of uh, Structolite out there. I gotta go mix some more. It doesn't, it doesn't go very far. All right, there's another half bucket of Structolite. Worked my ways on the edges first. I'm working my way into the center. Uh, I had an older bag that I used first. You can see it's drying. It's been in the basement for a year, so maybe that's why it's drying a lot faster. It's kind of like an accelerated accelerant from being in the basement. Probably got dirty and stuff. But um, yeah. This, I just put this on so it's wet. This one's already drying out. First uh, coat I put on about an hour ago. Right, I'm gonna go mix up some more because I still got some really low spots. All right, that's the third half bucket or it's like a third of a bucket. So that's almost a full bucket there. All right, that's the last coat. I might need one more once this hardens, just the final coat, top coat. But yeah, that's. That's it filled. So gotta do a little bit up there and a couple spots down here, but this major part is done. That's where the bricks were. Uh, it still sticks out a little bit higher at the top because they did really thick up there, but I think the last coat will probably feather that in a little bit more. So I'm happy with that. We'll go mix up a little bit more mud for this cracks going up right here and then that'll be it for tonight. All right, there's the chimney all finished up, the last coat. I'll sand this, or I'll rough it up with a, a putty knife when it's dry, and then I'll put one more final coat of plaster over this whole wall to cover up all these little scars in it. <laughs> and I still gotta do the little cracks over there, a couple more that I didn't get. But uh, the chimney itself is done. And yeah. Looks good. You can see I got a lot more to do over here, the ceiling. But yeah, this is just strictly wanted to get the chimney done first. <laughs> 